It's a 41-year-old company, Sandler O'Neill. What does it say about the environment that boutique investment banks are, are now consolidating? Well, our situation is a little bit different. We've been a private partnership with two private equity investors. So they've been, they've been great investors and great friends, but they've made their investment about eight years ago. And so, you know, when we did the original investment, we knew that we would either at some point in time go public or merge with, with hopefully a company like Piper. And for us right now, we think we can grow our business with them very effectively, and we're excited to be joining them. Was there any pressure from those stakeholders or indeed any other stakeholders, Jimmy? And how did you arrive at the $485 million price tag? Well, no pressure from the private equity firm. We, we, we paid out a pretty handsome dividend every year, and they were great partners. Uh, they, were, they, were, they absolutely understood that we knew what we were doing, and they were happy to go along with what we were doing. Uh, you know, the price is just the result of a combination of things. What would be the best fit for our clients, which was the first and most important role? How could we continue to do exactly what we wanted to do at Sandler uninterrupted? And could we go with a company where we could make a, lo a big difference over time? So I think the price is, is low, <laughs> and I think that they got a very, very good deal. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that they did, and everything that we do to be helpful with them, which should help the stock and I think over time it's gonna we're gonna make a real contribution and we are gonna be large shareholders and I intend to be a very large shareholder so we're, we're you know we're, there's a lot of ways to get paid in this deal